Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dubbed Out, and here today we're going to be coming at you guys with a brand new video on the top 5 maps that we could see in the Black Ops 4 Zombies Chaos storyline. With the involvement of multiple mythologies, there are a ton of different possibilities for maps that we could get, but with that being said, let's go on and discuss the top 5 Zombies maps that we could see in Black Ops 4. Coming in at the number 5 spot is going to be Asgard, which is one of the 9 worlds found inside of Norse mythology. Now, it is possible that we do get one of the other 8 worlds besides Asgard, but it being the most popular and relevant one, I do believe that if we were to receive one of the 9 worlds, that this one would be it. Now, we do know that Odin is going to be a part of our story somehow, making Norse mythology 100% involved in our story and meaning that we could experience Asgard in our own realm of zombies. I think that this world would be beautiful, especially through the eyes of Jason and Craig, and I very much hope that we get to see this map in Black Ops 4 Zombies. Coming in at the number 4 spot now is going to be the tallest mountain in all of Greece, otherwise known as Olympus. This is the home of the mythical gods that was created as a result of the battle between the gods and the titans, meaning sadly that we missed out on a lot of the good action if this does wind up being a map, but similar to Asgard, I believe that it fits perfectly in our chaos story realm as we do know that Zeus is going to be involved in it. I would assume that this map would have incredible wonder weapons involving the powers of the gods and I could only imagine if Treyarch went balls to the wall and gave us 12 wonder weapons for each of the 12 different Olympians. The mountain gorges and forests filled with Olympus would make for an awesome map vibe and I really hope that we do get to see this as a map in Black Ops 4 Zombies. Coming in at the number 3 spot is going to be the Underworld, another world from Greek mythology even though I'm pretty sure a few different mythologies do have their own version of this. The Underworld is an other world where souls go after death and I assume that most of us know the story of Hades, Poseidon, and Zeus so I'll save that story but I will go on and say that this map would have a ton of potential with all of the different areas inside of it. Erebus and Tartarus which are both split into multiple different sections and intensities would be really grimy and gritty map compared to the other two previously mentioned which would be a bit more beautiful and shiny of maps I believe. This one would be really gri gross, grimy, and dirty and I would love Love to see the underworld through the eyes of Blundell and Craig, especially with all the cool Easter eggs and wonder weapons that they could come up with for this map. Coming in at the number two spot is going to be a map that we have all been begging for for a very long time, and that is going to be an Egypt slash pyramid map. Now, we do know that the Scepter of Ra is a weapon that is going to be inside of Black Ops 4 Zombies, as well as we've seen the Egyptian God statue sent by Treyarch. So it seems like this would be the perfect time for us to finally receive this map. I know we have all daydreamed about this map, at least at one point in time of our lives, and boys, it is like finally possibly here. I can only imagine the secrets that we would find inside of a pyramid made by Jason Blundell, especially knowing that he's had this map in the back of his mind for a very long time. Jason has said himself in recent interviews that they've had a lot of ideas that they've had to put, to asi put aside, and so they wanted to start fresh to be able to try these types of ideas out. And this seems like the perfect candidate for that. As well as our next map, but we won't get into that quite yet. Uh, a pyramid map made by Treyarch would in its own nature probably be one of the most deeply layered maps to ever be created. And there's no need to say that I hope that we see it in Black Ops 4 Zombies. Because we've wanted this map since the beginning of time. But there's one more map that I'd say I want just a tad bit more than this. And that is going to be the number one map, boys. Coming in at the number one spot could be no other map besides an Atlantis map. And keep in mind, this video is not top five maps that we want, but top five maps that we could see. And I'm very glad to say that this map could finally be coming to us in Black Ops 4 Zombies. Just like with the Pyramid map, this is the map that Blundell has wanted to play with as well as he knows how badly that we want it. So with the introduction of Greek mythology, the possibilities of this map happening now are much more likely. Atlantis was a city founded by Poseidon who went on to give his city to his 10 sons to control and each of them controlled their own section of the city. And now we could be fighting the undead in an underwater battle for the good of the world. I can't imagine the types of transportation methods, special zombies and bosses that could come from an underwater map like this, but I do know that, that this is the map that we need in our lives. Whether we are fighting against or working with Poseidon, I guarantee that we're going to be doing at least one or the other if we do get this map, and that in, a, in itself would just be insane. 
There are so many depictions of Atlantis that I can guarantee that just like all the other maps listed before that in the eyes of our trusted developers, this map would come out more breathtaking than we could ever imagine and I'm pretty sure that we've all have some very high expectations for a map like this. I'm pretty sure that we can all agree that there's one map that we need in our lives that this is the one right here. Well, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I do want to thank you all for coming by and watching the video. Make sure that you guys do like and subscribe if you haven't done so for more Black Ops 4 content in the future. Uh, this was my first ever top five. I do know a few things that I do need to work on in the future. So, again, make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel. Make sure to show that love. And with that being said, you guys have a great day. Much love and peace out. Have a good day.